Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.30. Me and my science officer, Zed Tech. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Good, Captain. Good. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing very well, and we are busy uh, adding band-aids to our factory here. We decided that we weren't making enough green plates, uh, not green plates, green uh, circuits all the way over at our production facility over here. Wait, wait, there it is, here. Which, I mean, to be fair, now that I look at it, we could probably done better flying it out on the other side, so we had two going, and... And stuff like that. But, you know, we, we've added a band-aid here, and that is the important thing. The reason that we are doing that, and I hope you all uh, excuse me, science officer, was kind of taking your job. We are working on the rocket silo, and I'm about to hit the button to start that research. Now, I've got a feeling this is going to take us some time, because, uh, as I say, the majority of this factory is now working on patches, band-aids, <laughs> and make-dos. It's, uh, it's, it's glorious. It's wonderful. It's really working. Um... Slowly. <laughs> yes. Though we seem to have sorted the uh, the iron supply out, if you will. Just about. Kind of. And the steel is also flowing like water. The copper flows. Coal flows. In fact, I think having a look over this, the only thing we really need to work on is just getting the redistribution in the right places. Or we could just wait. That's the beautiful <laughs> thing about Factorio. <laughs> you can just wait for stuff to get done if you really want to do that. Captain... I don't know about you, but waiting is not really a problem right now. We've been stuck here for such a long time. That's I, just... I mean, personally, I feel like we need to start working on our tiki hut. We've got all these different types of uh, of cocktails on the go here, but nowhere can I go wear a grass skirt, sit on the side of a lake and enjoy them. We still haven't determined if the atmosphere is actually safe for human skin, so I wouldn't pre <laughs> suggest actually going no, in a I mean... tiki skirt. <laughs> We, we have been quite quite secure yes. in our suits here for, for hours and hours now. I mean, according to our data log here, we're going to go with 35 hours we've been on this planet. Yeah. In 35 hours, we did quite a lot. <laughs> quite. I mean, like, if I did 30, if I did this much work for high command in 35 hours, I would definitely be demanding oh, a pay rise. Oh, my. Oh, no. What? Uh, <laughs> the all of the trains are stuck. Why? Okay, so it's all at this junction here. The problem is that the copper train going in can't go past the copper train coming out. Uh, I see I see the very problem up at the Cisco Rail Network or yeah, Cisco Cisco train station, the iron station. The one that I didn't put any bullets into. So I guess I'm going back that way. Let's uh, there are two trains actually stuck here as well. So let's go and fix it. Yeah, I've got a feeling they're all going to tie in with each other. We can fix this definitely. Oh yeah, this is this is not a difficult thing to fix. <laughs> so how are we going to tidy this up? Like obviously the this this set of signals here are just in the in the way. Yeah. So captain, what stories do you have for me today? What start? So I I, I, I'm not sure if I've ever told you about my uh, gold medal uh, award-winning uh, extreme sports career that I uh, that I partook in in my younger days. Uh, I, I'm sure you've heard of the uh, the wonderful and beautiful sport of strato surfing. Uh, this is, of course, where we take ourselves into quite a high orbit, uh, quite an eccentric orbit, if you will. Uh, the classic was in the Earth-Moon system. You'd be coming from the geostationary orbits. Um, at least from geostationary height, uh, then you put your per 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 perigee, isn't it, on Earth? I believe it was called perigee. Uh, okay. You put that down underneath the atmosphere, if you will, and then using your um, heat shield slash surfboard, you uh, you come down, you hit the top of the atmosphere, and obviously because you're going so fast, you're, that air resistance pushes you back up, and you can ride the waves of the atmosphere, the, the very top... Uh, okay. very top screaming there it's it's a lot of fun it's um it, it's kind of a more of a uh an interpretive system if you will uh you know how like you got the bmx street styles where they're the they were like working on just flat flat bits of ground and doing what they could with that it's very much similar um a similar ethos <laughs> this this train network it's good we have any further down or is it just this one to be released why isn't it let's see uh Something. we've got trains on the move down south what is Just going? Following it, it's going to the roundabout, but beyond that, I bet it's going to come up here. It's not. It's going down. It's going down to Chuck Norris. Okay, no worries. Which should mean that this iron now rolls. 
No, the copper. The copper. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There's no problem. We can live with that. When it actually arrives to the train station. Okay, and away we go. It yeah, um, my my special move was uh, my special move. My specialty uh, was the uh, the upper stratosphere McTwist. Uh, this is where you first... It was only really uh, doable when you first hit your, your first bounce off the atmosphere. Now, obviously, you needed um, extreme leg strength at the time, and being the, the, the young cyborg that I was, uh, <laughs> leg strength was not a problem. Uh, and we... Ooh, I thought that was going to crash into another train there. <laughs> uh, you would bounce off the, uh, the top of the atmosphere, really give it a push, and uh, tuck in for your um, 2,400 spin. Uh, you never really wanted to do a, a nice round number because this would uh, give uh, too too much of a, a streamlined profile for your surfboard to come cutting oh. back in, uh, and, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to. Do, it's like uh, it's like the capsules of old when they used to send them up and send them straight back down too steeply, and they did didn't have time to uh, lose their velocity before they uh, burnt up in the atmosphere. Uh, and it was a very much a similar risk. A, a friend of mine, a, an old college friend, um, Charles McBurnson. Uh, he unfortunately came to quite quite a a, a flaming end, shall we say, oh. thinking that he could de uh, deep uh, he could aero break deeper down than he actually could, uh, and and it really caught up with him, you know, really caught up with him. He uh, he lost both his ankles. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> it, it was quite amusing watching him try and like get around on the little hover pads that he had, but uh, <laughs> we're okay. we're not really supposed to laugh at disadvantaged people nowadays. Oh, uh, couldn't you get any? <laughs> Robot prosthetics. I mean, legs. Ah, uh, he could have, but he was a proud, proud man. Uh, he um, he was very much uh, under the insistence of being able to do it himself. Uh, All right, why hasn't the rocket silo done any? Uh, because yellow is science is missing, and it's missing because we don't have any red circuits, and we don't have any red circuits because there's no green circuits. There's not. There's no green circuits because iron was stopped. It always comes down to iron or copper. Yeah, there's, just... al there's always one. There's always one that we're uh, chasing at some point. So now that we've sorted out the trains, the, the plates appear... Not the plate. Oh, I don't know why I keep trying to call them plates. The circuits appear to flow. Uh... We've got some red circuits moving. Well, let me just check. I think the copper train might not be working. Let's see. Ooh! Produce more than 10 gigawatt per hour using only solar panels. Oh. Got, got me a suit, Chief. Uh, Captain, could you could you see what you can do about the uh, green circuits production? Of course. Uh, I was actually really tempted to move our um, bullet production because it's right next to the original green circuit factory and that bullet production would be ideal spot for where we could double up our production. Let's go and have a look at it rather than just talking about it. So just surfing across the atmosphere, um, what's the feeling of it? What's the... Uh, it's quite warm, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, it starts off very cold. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you need to have your uh, breathing gear uh, and obviously some sort of skin coating to stop all the uh, liquids escaping from your system. Uh, but, you know, that's standard moving around in space stuff. Uh, <clears throat> You really need to, like, the, the feeling of the, the pressure as you push back against the atmosphere underneath your feet. I mean, that that is something that you can't really describe to, to ground dwellers that just kind of swim through the soupy masses they do every day. I mean, it's it's not really something that, that, that can be translated unless you've felt that push. It's uh, quite... I don't think I can actually move these now that I stop and look at it. Where do we have yeah, You iron? don't know if you can what? Uh, so I wanted to move this stuff here, and this stuff is the assembly machine, some gears, and uh, the normal bullet production. Because then we could quite easily, like, double the amount of green circuits we make. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a reshuffle. <laughs> Maybe we did hit the limit on the amount of trains on a single line. <laughs> yeah, it, it's starting to feel that way, isn't it? That we've. Uh, it's some sort of fundamental limit, which would be a great shame, to be honest. Uh, we we were doing so well with what we had. Did you forget to put the train on automatic? Oh, um, may, 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 maybe <laughs> that that is a possibility. No, it's on manual. <laughs> it was on. It wasn't on automatic. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> 
What does a blue line mean? What does a what, sorry? Blue line on the train network mean. Oh, so Not the blue. blue light means that in the, the next uh, the next block, if you will, is free, but you can't guarantee the block after that. I, I still love that we can wood power the, tra uh, the tanks. Is it wood power, yes. <laughs> the fact that we can burn wood in just about whatever we want, that's, uh, yeah. that's crazy. How's the progress on the... Ah, uh, wrong way. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a way of mirroring blueprints, but I don't think there is. I think I've got to literally build it by hand. R? Uh, that rotates, and then, unfortunately, that puts the input at the output and turns uh, the belts upside down. Um, but which means I've literally just... I was thinking, I mean, before when humanity did make just the first rail networks and all of that, they did put down only one rail. And immediately double the network. Okay, it took far too much actual concentration, but there we go. I have doubled the green circuit output from this place. Nice. In theory. In theory. As long as the copper can keep up. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying about the, uh, the the ancient train engineers of old. I believe they were called the navvies, right? Um, fam famous people for the navigation um, nation. Navigation nation, yes, of course. Uh, it was an ancient race of peoples who uh, produced um, uh, iron for fingernails, and they would go around and lay down the the, the, the tracks uh, using their own very body to uh, produce oh. the. Thing. It, it was a wonderful piece of early early engineering. The Victorians were masters. Uh, red circuits, I think, are the main problem. So how are these red circuits being put into the network? Are these red circuits being put into the network? Presumably. Mm, presumably, but that doesn't mean so. It could have just all been falling out of my back pocket into the network. That's also an option. I did pick up stuff and then put it back down and then... Yeah, I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick hacksy thing to, to deal with that. Let's get a passive provider. Let's get a fast inserter. Do that. Oh, power for it. All right. Um, immediately the robots flow, so I think I may have solved the issue here. So I'm gonna add a couple of bypasses in the middle of the lines, so the trains don't need to wait at the train stations that much. Yeah, some passing points sounds like a great idea. This is good. I think it's working. Uh, for some reason, apparently today is my day to work on the train. Because it looks like that is the case. I'm just waiting for the... Aha! Aha! We've got our first yellow science pack moving around. This nice. this, this might take some time at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need 1,000 of that. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, indeed, 1,000. So, I mean, the good thing is this one got produced and then another one almost immediately got produced. But that that's kind of a very short-term turnover, I think. Yes. Well, we've actually got enough purple in the backlog for it, so that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good, cool. That's yeah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so the substations which use red circuits have just been told to fill up a passive provider chest. Um, <laughs> Completely. There's a lot. Yeah. A thousand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I got it just before it started doing. Well, but just after it started doing the second line, uh, the mm -hmm. last line. Sorry. Um, but we've got uh, one, two, three, four, four entire lines of uh, substations. 2,000 substations. 300, 400, 500, yeah, 2,000 two sub. We got, yeah, okay. So hopefully this will now, like, wind Never down. Work again. <laughs> stop using our red okay, circuits well, uh, for just, us more can we just rotate the inserters so it doesn't, they don't work? At some point we'll be like, ah, oh, turns out we did need more and we don't know why it's not working. Uh, logic gates? If less than a thousand work. Okay, so in there we got substations, if less than, uh, like, uh, 20. Like, like, oh, 50? <laughs> if less than one stack. <laughs> Just looking at our copper out, and I'm like, how, how is this even functioning? <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. I, Harsh. I, think, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Well, it's, it's doing all right, but it's emptying one carriage and then the other, and I'd really like it to empty both carriages sort of smoothly together. So what, do, what are we bottlenecking? 
Copper mainly. Is it copper plates or just uh, we haven't actually connected the last line? I could I could see some massive troubles here. <laughs> Let's just move the train line, uh, train station to copper, closer to the actual melting station, melting place. Yeah, that might be a plan. So there are two things that we need to do. So let's actually place another. Uh, so can you copy the um, iron output? Uh, because we're gonna have four outputs for the copper now. Sorry, the iron stack under the iron output underneath the thing. You want me to put another one under the copper? Uh, so, yeah, just under the copper. We don't need this either or this. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> or this. I wonder, if if stone bricks make you move faster, does it make trains move faster? Oh, that would be nice if it all could, like, super stack up, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at all those bricks coming in. Yeah. Look at big, da, 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 da. Love it. It's a good thing they're not going to stone us. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't want a bunch of robots trying to stone me. That, that, like, their aim would be just, like, horrendously good. Uh, at least with people, you could imagine that they're not, like, half of them aren't going to be able to hit you at, like, two you arms know, lengths away. The efficiency of a robot, you know it's going to aim for the head. At least for a yeah. human, you know, you're going to miss probably the lower leg. Unless they don't want to hit your head. They're like, oh, if we hit their head, they're going to be unconscious instantly, and that's not much fun. Yeah. All right, let's put this there. Yeah, we can. I'm gonna ah, they're, 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 people are gonna scream at me for this. <laughs> if they're not already screaming because of yeah. the lower, because of all of the robots making now concentric circles around the. <laughs> I I like this. This is nice. I mean, like look look at the shadow over this side. Yeah. That's just like mm mm mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna connect it back. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna connect it up to this 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 copper out, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, I see what you're doing. Let's figure out how. You need to kind of like big circle here and connect into that. <laughs> we need to remove that chest. This chest. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. Bam, bam. Okay. And then I'm gonna put all that into the system. All right, good work, robots. It's doable. Everyone's gonna hate me for it, but. <laughs> Right, it'll work. As long as, it, as long as it works, that is the main thing. Well, it's not per the manual, but I like it. <laughs> I think we burnt the manual for fuel. Uh, rename it to uh, whatever, I guess. Copper in? I don't know what the... Yeah, we don't have a copper in, so... we put double N as if it's somewhere to go sleep. Okay, now we need to fix all of the trains to go to this station instead. Okay, so the copper flows. I've done nothing to make sure oh. it's on both sides, but hang on, I can do this. Bam, bam, bam. All right, there we go. There we go. I come in. All right, we got it. Oh, there. All oh, of the I trains have stopped. Why are all trains stopped? You want to go to Cisco? Have a look. This goes empty. Oh, it, it, there's a completely empty line up there. The hell? I'm roll out in a tank. Have a look. Not, not that I'm actually going to know what's wrong with this. It's something that we added recent. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's got it kind of got to be the bypass because uh, the the new bypass in the middle, as yeah. it just kind of flowed through quite nicely once it got past that. There's nothing saying that this train here. There you go. That was the problem. This this train here was in the block, if you will. The main line. Yeah, they should all now just shuffle in and hopefully iron can fly. Iron flows! Alright, cool. I've replaced the uh, fuel delivery system with a request a chest asking for coal, because we keep uh, putting coal in the system. Yeah. How many per <laughs> much is that research? Uh, oh, I'd say we've done about 3%. <laughs> <laughs> Why is rocketry so hard? Why is rocketry so hard? <laughs> What's wrong, Captain? I am just looking at where the copper goes. Because we've got an awful lot of copper coming out of these smelters now, but they're all trying to be carried on one single belt, uh, which then gets split into two over here. Oh. 
Let's get rid of this coal because it's not going anywhere. We we can we can deal with it later if we need to deal with it later. But right now it's in the way. <laughs> uh, what's the what's copper input station? Well, uh, what mining station? The never take me alive. Never. never take yeah, me never take me alive. Copper. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that's now two really full belts getting chunked into the copper line. Literally could not fill them more if I had, if I tried. Oh, I am trying. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's all good. right. There's a there's a bottleneck right here. Is there a way of the ah? Yes, there is because these belts don't move on anymore. Let's get rid of that. Is that actually why why do why did these belts just suddenly stop? Because we're not using them anywhere else. Wait, aren't we using them for red? This is what I was thinking, but the line has been cut for a very long time. Ah, so we're making fresh stuff down there. That's that's what's going on. Okay. Oh, it's these guys here that are using those belts. Only these guys. We make more just over here. We need it for this. Oh, look, right? we need it here for green, green, green circuits. Look, uh, green, yeah. not green circuits, green. Science. That's the one, thank you. Captain, I have a solution. Does it involve robots? No. Oh, okay. What's your solution then? Combining red undergrounds with yellow com r undergrounds because they are not gonna actually interact with each other, so you can put technically three lines in one place. Yeah, you reckon you got that? I mean, I was literally just gonna put down a little provider chest here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe here. Tell it to okay. put the that. We can do it like that. <laughs> I mean, we could probably do both lines. I, mean, I request a chest, and then I want you to request uh, yellow belts. Okay, right. So now I can cut. Oh, I cut in the circuit line. Don't do that. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> oh, we're this full on the belt circuit belt is full. My God. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, yeah, this is what I'm working at. This is what I'm working at. The, so if you come back down uh, all the way over here, we have a place where two belts become one for literally a single tile. Oh, nice. And that is rubbish. So I want to try and work around this, thinking I can actually move this up like that. Move that in there, and then this one can just straight on. There we go, beautiful. And thankfully, because I've pre-deleted everything, this is not going to run into the wrong spots. Fingers crossed. I'm just surprised that we actually have a full belt of green circuits. Yes, yeah, nice. It's what it's what we've been needing for a what, little while now. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, it only took us the majority of the game to sort it out. There we go. Provide a chest. There. Don't fill it up. Just do a first stack. Thank you. Uh, and then I can replace. There's another line of belts I want to replace. Here it is. Okay, there we go. That now works as I would like it to, which means we can carry on the <laughs> copper line, which is my entire project here. Keep is the just copper keep flowing, the copper but line the trains moving. are stopped. <laughs> oh, Twitchy, can you just stop the production of robots? <laughs> yes. Yes, I can stop the production of our infinite number of robots. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good plan. Yeah. Here it is. Here it. I'm just gonna stop so them being put into the system. All. Yeah, we have two thousand now. Two thousand logistic robots. One thousand <laughs> five hundred construction robots. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Same place. Where were the logistic robots being put in? Ah, I see. We got two making logistic robots. Ah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it looks like the reds are starting to, well, not back up, but get through the system. Yeah. It's the blues backing up. The blues are backing up so the reds can get through the system, and that's an important slowly, part. Right? Slowly, slowly. I did recently add more to the red I circuits. Have a yeah, idea. and I can see ways of getting more in there, I think. Um, uh, right above the red circuit production, just look further up. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's feed all the stuff into it, and we'll be good. Just, if you could look at the pollution spread across the map, our base is extremely clean compared to the mining district. Pollution. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, the difference is uh, pre <laughs> pretty striking, actually. Pretty striking. I've um, often uh, wondered why it is in, in this universe that we can't actually work on the mining process, make it a little bit cleaner. You know, yeah. I, un I understand that mining is intrinsically uh, 
not a very nice way of dealing with the environment. <laughs> Especially if you use acid to melt the ore. Yeah, yeah, but th that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> not, not yet, but we do have the, uh, I think, efficiency modules that, that actually lower the pollution as well. Oh, do that, Input okay. In the miners. We can actually place that in the miners and it will actually lower pollution. But of course make them use more power, I think. So that's just plastic. And that should now, yeah, there we go, coming out. Oh, it's a circle, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, plus. Yeah, it's, it's a bit weird how it's been done, but I will <laughs> accept it. <laughs> this this little crossover point here is by far the most interesting. Yeah, I'm not I... sure why we couldn't have just carried on up and then looped around. Oh, because that needs to loop around. All right, it, yeah, it's weird. Oh, look, but then it then it loops round and back into the bit, it just like, oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, what is this bit the, doing? Yeah, what's that bit with the <laughs> chest? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go look down below and have a look and see what it actually did down oh, here. Ah, so <laughs> this was the train production. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Ain't no ting. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, um, wait, how did you drop... Oh, God, that's a big I, drop. I don't know how I dropped that, but uh, drop it I did. All right, the robots are on it. <laughs> All right, the circuits flow much better now. Oh, my God, and the red, and the red line is filled. <laughs> Yay, for a little bit. <laughs> the robots are busy uh, making sure that doesn't stay like that. <laughs> yeah, but the robots are also busy making our rocket. Now, what yes. do we need for a rocket silo? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, there, there we go. Well, I think we've got up to about a fifth of the, uh, of the thing done. What do we need for the rocket silo? It's a lot, if I remember correctly. It is like a lot, a lot. Uh click on the rocket silo. We need a thousand steel plates, two thousand processing units, two hundred electrical units, uh, 100 pipes, and 1,000 concrete, all of which I think we've actually got in the system. I've got we don't a feeling have concrete. The, the electrical... Do we not? No. Oh, we should we should work on that. The electrical engines are a bit are a bit lackluster. It's because the actual engine production is also pretty, yeah. pretty rubbish. Uh, we haven't Back actually there. made any concrete, but we can start producing that, I guess. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to at least get a machine working like near the... Uh, Near where we're making the the I mean, the we just furnaces. need one rocket silo. We're not planning on starting a new civilization. <laughs> no, no stars, I, but I just want to get off this planet. Um, yeah. But also, I probably want to get that wing condition, so we might want to make a satellite as well. Uh, know, what do we need for a satellite? <laughs> um, a sense of faith and determinism. Uh, <laughs> the two things I don't have. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> Uh, I'm just expanding the engine production by any means that I can. Um, this might get a little messy. Uh, right, where was I with the... Okay, so the next thing I'm noticing is the absolute lack of iron. Uh, oh, really? no, what's going on? Absolute lack of iron. What has happened? Uh, we Not added either. a lot of copper. <laughs> um... Oh, wait, it stopped here for no apparent reason. I bet I've done something on it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't touch anything. Wait, where? Here, right here, there's a, uh, an underground belt that goes the wrong way. Oh, yeah, Bam. that's wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that happened somehow. Yeah, it was probably whilst I was putting the copper up. Man, <laughs> look at the robots go! There's so many of them. Okay, so let's do a quick sum up of what we've done because a, a fair amount of stuff has happened. I'm even going to swap to the map to to to, to demonstrate here. Uh, so the first thing to note is that we have very much reworked how the copper comes into the base. It used yes. to be that we had a, um, a an input station here. Now we have this ridiculous train line <laughs> that comes out and around and joins into where the smelter is, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, we also have a bit of a, I don't know, we, we've got too many trains running on one singular line. I think we have we have recognized this problem, uh, but to fix it, we've just put in a whole bunch of little bypass systems. <laughs> uh, I, I want to throw big inverted commas around the word fix. I also want to move away from this <laughs> RoboPort because it is loud. Doubled the red, red production, um, which seems to be choked by plastics at the moment, looking at it. No, no, by copper. Sorry, I can extend that at some point. Uh, it's not because the copper's short, it's because they're not making enough um, cables. Well, and with the... Uh, yeah, well, with the red 
With the red uh, circuits being produced quite well, we've got this little inserter um, set up down the bottom here where we get the green and the red circuits into the logistics network, which then takes it all the way over... Where are we? Over here to make yellow, make yellow si um, science. I keep trying to say cir circuits instead of science. I don't know why. My brain keeps messing up on me. And then the yellow science gets put into the state into the the labs over here oh look at that we've actually got a little bit of a backlog on the uh, on the belt that's that's beautiful <sighs> that took us about an hour and a half <laughs> and we're not even halfway through the the rocket um almost halfway research. i i uh... <laughs> oh, oh, almost oh my i agree almost okay what is going on with this <laughs> uh what uh, the uh, the copper furnace. It's actually just outputting as as much as it can. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, another thing I want to do is where these underground belts come out. This is from the old station, and it's not outputting on the like the top edge. Can't can't put into the other side of this underground. So I'm uh, emptying that out. Hopefully, hopefully, and then we can yeah. get rid of these belts, and we'll have nice clean nice clean base again. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't think we're going to have a clean base until we get off this planet and <laughs> we yeah. nuke everything, just to be sure. Only way to be sure. We're not going to actually nuke it, but <laughs> oh, that requires research in nuclear development. That does, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a lot of science we don't have. <laughs> but with that science officer, I think we have done our wonders. We've just literally run through everything we've done. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot we've done. And, and just watching that little green bar go across on the top of my... my, my uh, suit layout there. It's a little disappoint if I'm if I'm to be honest with you. I really thought we were gonna get it done in this amount of time. Uh, uh, but yeah, but research is hard. Research is hard, but better better than that, than that. We have optimized the base, which I feel uh, is gonna gonna help us immensely in the next report. And with that, it's the captain's log. Signing off. <laughs> oh.